So today's video is the difference between single-headed steak and double-headed steak. I've probably thrown that phrase around a few times uh, without really explaining. Um, basically, a single-headed steak only has one head and a double-headed steak has two. I'll show you that right now. Um, but first, uh, when I first began, I bought single-headed steaks. Um, because my grandparents bought me a whole bunch of bonds growing up. They thought maybe one day I'll be able to buy a car. But anyways, I cashed them in. I got like 600 bucks. And when I was going to college, there was a rental company three doors down from, from where we rented our house. So I went there and I said, I got this much money. You got any steaks I can buy? And they did. And they gave me all their single-headed ones, all various sizes or whatever. But I was able to start my business with single-headed steaks. They are also cheaper to buy when you buy them from a distributor but let me show you double-headed versus single-headed. So this is a single-headed steak. It only has one head. That is it. This is a double-headed steak. It's got the same one there. It's also got another down here. Now let me show you what that's for. So these are just in my warehouse. I didn't stake them in the ground. This demonstrates it just well enough. So the double-headed steak, the rope or ratchet, will sit right below the second head. The single-headed steak It'll sit right below the single head. Now, this is made for these. These are steak caps. You wanna definitely use these on all your setups. It's going to protect people, because uh, if someone trips and falls on one of these, seriously injured. So with the double-headed steak, these will go right on. With the single-headed steaks, once this has tension on it up towards the tent, you won't be able to get this on. It'll just like stick right there because this will be pulling against it. So what you either need to do is get all your steak caps and split them so that it can go around that rope that's tensioned or get tennis balls that just go over the, over the top. I think tennis balls look cheap and dumb. So definitely I say investment is these double headed steaks that you can just put that right on. Now beyond just putting a steak cap on it, once you start getting a larger tents and you use steak bars, which I have a steak bar right here. This is a steak bar. It uses three steaks to make the entire thing a bit stronger. So once you start using steak bars, the double head is supposed to go all the way down to this. Uh, if you have a single head, you can't get all the way down. And if you did, it's going to be very, very hard to get that stake out. With a double headed, you go all the way down. You still have room on that stake to attach a stake puller or hit it with a hammer and loosen it up. But if a single head, it goes all the way down and it's going to be very hard to get back up. Um, I did do a video on stake bars, but I will do another one uh, to make it more clear. Anyways, that's my advice. Spend the extra dollar per stake to get double headed because it makes life a whole lot easier once you start using these. In the very beginning, I did not use stake caps because I was broke. And the, we were at a few jobs and people were like, do you have anything to go over these so my grandkids don't get hurt? And we just said, oh no, we don't do that. Um, and, and then one weekend I had someone trip and fall on it and they went to the hospital. Fortunately, I knew the person. It was, I knew the lady, it was her husband. So they could have sued me because he had to take a trip to the hospital because he tripped and fell on a stake and seriously hurt himself. But I knew her and she didn't do anything. So after that, I spent, the, well, I think these are a dollar a piece. I spent a few hundred dollars and got all these and uh, put them over the stakes. Now we do it all the time. We uh, keep them in bins like this. I spray paint a C on them and they're just down in there. So they go on every single tent. Uh, saves my ass. For a few hundred dollars, I can avoid a lawsuit. So definitely invest in the double-headed stake. If you are using single-headed stakes, uh, you can still buy the caps, you just gotta split them all, or use tennis balls, which, like I said, I feel it looks tacky, but who cares about the tackiness if it's keeping you safe? Anyways, Thanks for watching.